They're allowing you to rent the F-18. Right? Maybe? No? Are they not allowing you to rent it? Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> R.I.P. What up guys, Astro Manny here, back at it again with another video, and we're actually live streaming on this one, so we might have uh, interaction with the chat a little bit, because we're talking about the website and what it has on it, so uh, there will be maybe some uh, chat with the chat a little bit, but you know, smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already. Notification bell and join button are also available, all those wonderful things, description in the description there's Discord and all those things, let's check out Anvil Aerospace Day. That's what today is, Anvil Aerospace. So let's get into it. Invictus launch Anvil Aerospace. So where are we at? All we striving, Anvil Aerospace. May 23rd to the 24th. This is the site. Look at the pretty views in the background. We're also going to go check out the Expo Center. We'll get that as a recording for you too. Um, is there anything special today? F7 Hornet Mark One. Say goodbye to the legend. Um, today... To the enemy, it was a weapon never to be underestimated. To the allies, a saver. The F7 Hornet is the same de dependable and resilient multi-purpose fighter that became the face of the UE Navy. Say goodbye to the classic Hornet Mark I joining us as we stand with the anvil and com commemorating its ventured service. What What do you mean? Why is it going away? Is it going away? Like, okay, sure. So, ships for Anvil, right? What does Anvil have? Well, Anvil has the arrow. They have the arrow. Is it the best dogfighter in the game anymore? No. No. It's still good. It's still good. In 1v1s, the arrow is still very scary. So, if you're looking in PvP, the arrow is very scary. For 1v1s, if it's in a team fight, it's not very good. Um, for doing AI combat, it's still really good to be in control of the fight and dominate the fight when you're fighting AI. So it's still a very solid ship. It's still in my hangar and I'm still going to fly it. So that's my take on the arrow. The ballista, not worth $140. Buy it in game. That's all I'm going to say on that. Missiles, cool, but buy it in game. The C8R Pisces is a must have everywhere, always. You should always have a C8R Pisces, and now you can currently respawn in the medical bed, so it is now even more a must-have. But if remember, if you have the C8R Pisces, you must have the blue pill paint. Get somebody to buy you the blue pill paint. Okay? Check. Next, the Expedition. It's got four guns instead of two guns. It's kind of cool. It's a nice little thing. It's got some extra seats in it. It's, it's, it's a nice cool little small ship you know starter ship sure Carrick the big bad boy Carrick very bugged I have a very strong biased hate towards the Carrick it's a beautiful ship guys I love the Carrick sure but it's so bugged and it's not ready um, but it's there there's the Carrick the Centurion Centurion however you want to say it right um, hold on Okay, so did we talk about the Centurion? The Centurion, sir, 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 words. It's got lots of guns on it. Ground vehicle, buy it in game. It's not worth $110. The Crucible, the Crucible is nice for when it is in game. This is in concept, guys. It fixes ships, repairs some things. Um, mobile repair platform, sure, if you want to get it for your buybacks. Have some fun. Okay. So F7C Hornet Mark 1 apparently is going away. I don't know why they would go away. Um, maybe buy one to put it in your buybacks. Why fly the Mark 1 when you can fly the Mark 2? I don't know. Mark 2 Hornet. Um, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So if you got the F7A token upgrade, make sure to get your Mark II, so your F7C, so you could upgrade it to the Mark 7A. 
it is a very dangerous fighter, guys. Uh, as much as people are saying it's not good for PvP, that's a lie. It is very good for PvP, but it's just good for 1v1s. It's not good for team fighting. it's good for 1v1s. And even in team fighting, if you're fighting average, everyday pilots, the F7A and the F7C are going to dominate everyday average pilots. Only the top one percenters in PvP are going to be able to beat you when you're in a Hornet. Okay? Just just know that some of the things that be said about PvP, people are looking at the top one percenters and saying that's the way it goes. No, in the average world, the F7A is very strong. Okay, guys? The Wildfire, cool, special paint, not worth $175 for a skin. But, you know, to each their own. And the Super Hornet. I don't know why this one's 185. That's kind of ridiculous. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're going to move on from the Hornets. <laughs> Tracker. Again, we're going to be moving on from the Hornets. The Ghost is really good. If you want to if you want to um, mark one Hornet, get the Ghost, guys. Get the Ghost, okay? Gladiator. It needs a rework. Definitely, definitely needs a rework. It's a small ship that has size 5 torpedoes. Um, that's about it. Other than that, it's kind of useless. It needs a rework. That's my thoughts on that. The Hawk. The Hawk has an EMP, but uh, when you can use the the Avenger Warlock, why would you use the Hawk? So, um, but still, it's a very cool ship. I like the way the Hawk looks. Don't necessarily recommend spending real money on it. Buy it in game. The Hurricane is or used to be the champion of multi-crewing is it still today i don't know to be honest if it's a again if it's kind of a 1v1 fight the hurricane's probably still very strong but the scorpius is definitely the king of multi-crew fighting in in pvp now so just keep that in mind but the hurricane is still a beautiful amazing ship the legionnaire is the boarding vessel it's only 120 dollars guys so put that in your buybacks if you have extra store credit It'll be cool. This ship's going to be just breaks into your ship. Boom. Boarding party. There it is. Right. So that's that's uh, something. The Liberator is an amazing carrier to have, uh, but it's in concept. I really can't wait for this ship to come out in game. It's going to be fucking awesome. Yes. Cussing in that one. I'm allowed to drop one F-bomb. <laughs> but yes, the Liberator. Beautiful, beautiful ship do recommend that one actually but maybe wait till it comes out in game it's still in concept let's not get overhyped spartan again another ground vehicle buy it in game if you want it uh it's just a transport vehicle right armored troop transport you could buy it in game 80 dollars isn't a terrible price bag price tag but you could buy it in game the terrapin is the ultimate scout it really is the ultimate scout the the terrapin is very tanky it's very underrated. It's a really cool ship. A really, really cool ship. But it doesn't have its exploration Pathfinder stuff that is in the game yet. So that's why it's not that, that good. But it's really cool. It's a really cool ship. Check that out. Rent it. Rent this ship. Have some fun with it. Uh, Valkyrie has the special upgrade offer today as well, by the way. Uh, very cool drop ship. Very cool ship. It does need a little bit of love, but this is a very awesome ship. A lot of the guys like to run the ship. It has lots of space in its cargo bay. Lots and lots of space for vehicles in the cargo bay in the Valkyrie. Okay. And then that's it. That's, that's, um, that is Anvil. Uh, there seems to be no F8C, guys. There seems to be no F8C. We're not quite done. We're going to go here into the ship upgrades, and that's what we were looking for. That's what we were looking for right there. It's so beautiful. Say goodbye. Say goodbye to the concierge skin on the Hornet and say hello to the Invictus blue and gold. So we're buying that. That's a must buy. That's what we're coming here to look at. We're going to take a look at the paints. Take a look at the paints. So the Hawk has an Invictus skin. The Hornet has an Invictus skin. And that's about it for Anvil, right? 
definitely picking up this Invictus Blue and Gold for the Hornet. It is a must buy for your boy Astro Manny. Um, ship upgrades, let's talk about ship upgrades real quick. So ship upgrades, like I said, the Valkyrie is the deal of the day, right? So you could save a whopping $25 on the Valkyrie. So do keep that in mind for the finale coming up, guys. When the finale comes up, I'll tell you all about the special CCU trading and all that stuff. Um, that's going to be it for me showing off Anvil Day. And we'll come back and I'll show you guys another video for Drake Defensive Con. But uh, the rest of this video will be some showcase showdown stuff. We're going to go into the Anvil Showcase and take some B-rolls. So I hope you guys enjoy the B-rolls. Probably with my face in it. So, um, yeah. <laughs> enjoy the B-rolls. Let's make sure that we get this beautiful, beautiful hornet. But yeah.